hi hello thank you so much for being here i hope that you are safe and doing well today we are going to be talking about shironori and i'm also going to have a special guest with me in a little second but first let's talk about shironori which literally translates to painted in white the name directly describes the key point of the style which is the white makeup on the face and it's a very broad and vague japanese style so you can wear pretty much any alternative fashion with it and it's really more about experimenting and being unique with the clothes so you can express your personality with your favorite colors and accessories the only requirement is the white makeup so as long as you have that it would be considered Shironori and you can easily mix it with lots of different styles. In the interviews that popular Shironori artist Minori did with the BBC and IB Times UK, she talks about how in Japan there has been a long tradition of using white makeup that dates back to medieval times. From the 9th to 11th centuries, a time known as the Heian period, men from aristocrat families painted their faces as a mark of their status. There's also a theory that due to poor lighting indoors at the time, faces were painted white to bring out their features. The trend was later adopted by women in the 17th century when geisha high-class female entertainers began to appear. During the Showa era from 1926 to 1989, the word shironori was first first coin. Inspired by the ultra-nationalism at the time, wearers of shironori would wear gakudan and sailor fuku, which are common Japanese school uniform styles or military uniforms, with their faces painted stark white using white makeup made from rice powder traditionally worn by geishas. <laughs> However, instead of a political expression or entertainment tool, modern-day shironuri wearers have evolved it into an art form and a way to express their personal fashion. There have been lots of different shironuri meetups, and back in 2013, there was a Japanese shironuri white face monster party in Harajuku with people wearing styles influenced by vintage fashion, kawaii, gothic, horror, decora, and lots more. Shironuri is a relatively rare style on the street, but at the event, there were more than 60 shironori in attendance and you can check out all of the pictures and video at tokyofashion.com. One of the shironori who attended the event and is the reason why it was made popular internationally is Minori. So she grew up in the Japanese countryside and considers nature to be one of the main inspirations for her art and fashion. And I'm very very excited because I had the honor of interviewing Minori while we were both guests at Sin City Anime in Las Vegas this past weekend. Let's go ahead and jump right into the interview. Hi, Minori. Hi. Hello. And hello, Rosie. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Minori, could you please introduce yourself? Oh, はじめまして。はじめまして。シロノリアーティストのミノリと申します。えっと、普段はシロノリと自然や宇宙などを組み合わせた写真作品を作っています。はい、シロノリアーティスト。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Um, her specialty is she's known for is combining the concepts of like shionori and nature together and then taking like photographs and scenes um, with those two concepts combined. For those who don't know what shionori is, could you explain what exactly it is? Shironori is, well, in general, it's to make your face look white. It's really like a lot of different kinds of shironori, but I think it's what I mean. まあ、本当に顔を白くぬるだけっていう感じで使わせていただいております。なんて言ったらいいのか。So, <laughs> like the history of shionori is basically just where you make your face white with makeup and there's different kinds of forms of it. Mm -hmm. Um so you'll see like, you know, Japanese style like even like あ、ゲイシャみたいな。ゲイシャとか。そう。失礼します。え、そうですね。ゲイシャとか、あ、マイコさん。あと昔、超昔のなんかミコさん。が、なんかよくその神様と交信するときにメイクアップしたっていうのがちょっと白塗りの歴史にあるかなっていう。So there's some, you know, in addition to like you'll see like maybe geisha, the idea of geisha is easy to understand with the white face and then also um like a nanti miko miko san? Miko. So there's um these mikos which um they would put like the makeup on their face as like during a kind of service or ritual to be like more connected with like a uh, God mm. um, is kind of more the deeper history that you can kind of look up. Um, but in her case, she uses it more as like just 
mostly using the white on her face um, only as a style of makeup, but in a little bit more modern way. Mm. Minari, how long have you been wearing this fashion for? And how did you find out about it? So, so, like, she first started doing the makeup style in, like, 2009. So it's been about 13 years since she started doing it and has been in that, in that scene. で、あの、白塗りを始めたきっかけっていうのが、その、私はその小さい頃、小さい頃とか、ゴシックファッションとか、あとアンティークのお洋服がすごい好きで、あの、でもその洋服ってすごいディティールがすごい強いので、あの、
so she uses that brand so it is a good quality brand and meant to like last even if you're sweating yeah. um but yeah other than that she doesn't use anything in particular like product wise to keep everything in place mm -hmm. it's mostly stays in place on its own only sometimes you know if she's wearing a mask or she's eating or something it kind of mm -hmm. rubs off a bit mm -hmm. but if she's just doing like the normal you know walking and taking pictures it'll stay on so do you have advice for people who want to start trying to like wear shirinori and for those who might not have the confidence to try it nanka shirinori janakute o so ka mo shire nai n desu kedo tabun yatte mitara igai to sono saisho no ippo ga muzukashii ka mo shire nai kedo yatte mitara honto igai to a deki ru jan mitai na kanji naru nde so yu no no tsumi kasane de watashi mo sono ima no sono shirinori no katsudou ni natte iru no de zehi ano ippo chotto yatte mite っていう kanji desu ne yeah so it may look intimidating when you just see like the fully completed look and you've never tried it before but actually if you take just that first step and you try it out you might find that it's not as difficult as it looks mm. and you just have to try different things and find what works for you but that yeah you should just uh, the first step is the hardest but if you can do that you'll you'll find that there's so many possibilities yes yeah. <laughs> that is very good advice absolutely i think a lot of people when they look at you know when they want to try anything new it's the first step that's always the hardest right. so yeah very good advice this is more about you but outside of fashion and art what are some other hobbies you enjoy <笑>趣味。あ、あ、イラストレーションとか描きます。イラストレーションとか。いや、ちょっと。美術関係。そう、そうか、そうなるか。あと映画見たりとかするのも好きだし。あとカフェ。カフェ、めっちゃお気に入
that she is really trying to work on right now is um, doing a proper exhibition mm -hmm. in some gallery somewhere in the world because she's amassed like not only all the photos that she's taken but probably over 70 costumes that she's oh, made wow. and she would really like to do I guess her, her goal for um, the future now is to uh, do like a proper full exhibition somewhere yeah. and so she's really hoping that with everybody's support she can find a gallery yeah, and do something cool and so. thank you very much but yeah oh my gosh i definitely learned a lot about you so thank you both so much for your time i really appreciate it so that was the interview thank you so much again to minori to rosie to fake star i will leave all of their links down in the description below minori has also done other videos in the past like with tokyo fashion she did a makeup tutorial and she's also done some interviews with kawaii patin and rin rin doll as well so y'all can check those out too unfortunately Minori says that there are very few people who still wear shironori and in Harajuku there's probably only like two people so I really hope that this video inspires some people to try it out too and I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions for other Harajuku icons that you would like for me to interview please let me know down in the comments as well but thank you so much for watching this video all the way through thank you to my lovely patrons I'll see y'all in the next video so take care and bye bye